Good day, YouTube. My name is Captain Darren and my call sign is N4VFR. In today's video, I'm here at a hotel out in Rapid City, South Dakota, and it's snowing outside. I'm going to show you my setup on how I do remote FT8 using my MacBook Pro. Stay tuned. But first, let me show you the weather outside. I told you that it was snowing, and here it is. So this is the hotel room. I'm at the uh, mainstay suite. So you can see that they have their own kitchenette in the back. Looking outside. Snow on the ground. On the fourth floor. Here's a bonus added feature. All right, on my second laptop right here on the Dell, we're going to uh, try to make contact with Parks on the Air. November 4, Victor Foxtrot Romeo Remote. November 4, Victor Foxtrot Romeo, you're 591319. Roger, Roger, you're 59 remote and uh, location is in Jacksonville, Florida. Good luck and uh, have a great day, Justin. This is N4 VFR. just made contact with Justin. His call is K4HXM and he's in Park Kilo 1319 in Smith Mountain Lake State Park. Hello, welcome to my desktop. This video I'm going to show you how I have it connected, what software that I use, and I'm not going to actually show you how to set it up. Uh, that's going to be a pretty long video because I have uh, several programs interfacing with each other. So let's get started. All right. Like in my intro, I'm here in uh, Rapid City, South Dakota on my uh, overnight, 17 hour overnight. I flew in from Dallas, Fort Worth. So it's snowing, it's raining, it's cold outside and um, we're not able to go sightseeing to see the, the faces at Mount Rushmore. So this is what we do. For me, I play ham radio. And I'm going to do that remotely. So here we are. The software that I run is called TeamViewer. And that's located free. I'll leave the link down in my description. And uh, here we go. These are my computers I could connect with. My Dell Inspiron is the actually laptop that's right next to me. And we're going to connect to my base station. It's a laptop, Dell XPS 17. Okay. So we are now looking at my laptop. I'm going to use the uh, ICOM IC7300 and we're going to use that for digital FT8. Bring up Ham Radio Deluxe. Okay, it's going to connect. It's automatically going to turn on the radio. Okay, let me just move that to the side. Okay, you got that there. The logging software that I use is a Log4OM. I also will leave that on the description. And also the Ham Radio Deluxe software. There is a free trial version of the Ham Radio Deluxe and the Log 4 OM that's free. All right. And the software is that I'll be using is the WSJTX software. This is what I'm going to use to uh, contact with digital modes, FT8, FT4, and so on. All right, the laptop that I'm running here at the hotel, it's the MacBook Pro. So it doesn't matter what kind of laptop you're using, whether if it's Windows, whether if it's the um, uh, the hotel computer. But you again, if you're using the hotel 
computer in the business center, you need to have Team Viewer and log on. So I don't know if they will allow you to download software and install it on their business computers. Okay, let me minimize. Let me minimize this. I'm just gonna reposition, minimize this so you can see. Now, the MacBook Pro, it's 16 inch. I only have so much real estate. So I'm going to put the things, the, the windows that I see to give you more information. So I'm not going to display this full size, okay? I'm going to move it to the side so I can see all the activities on the waterfall. Log 4OM. You can just leave that just like about here. I want to turn on the uh, super cluster. So I'll, all these cluster servers are on. And the HDR, HRD, Ham Radio Deluxe. I'm going to set that down here to the bottom right. Okay, now I, I know that I'm recording this video and you can see my mug there on the bottom right of the screen. Um, it's going to cover up some of that detail, but that's not important. <clears throat> and where is my WSJT? This one right here. Pop that up. I want to be able to see the, the receiving signal strength. Okay. We're on 12 meters. There's a lot of band activity going on. And go back to the Hammer Radio Deluxe. Now this is what I like to see. When I'm making QSOs, I want to see a little bit of the radio. Or I can just move this over here so I can see if it's transmitting. You want to make sure the motor operation upper side band. Data is on. Filter. AGC is fast. You can't shut it off. You can't put this in off. When you try, when I try it, go AGC off. It doesn't change it. It remains fast. That's sufficient. Attenuation off. Okay. I'm just going to move that aside like this. I want to see my power and SWRs. Okay. Just like that. So now. This is the operating position. If I want to go to my logbook, I just go that, click on that corner, and there's my logbook. There's my recent contacts. Um, the earlier park to park, I mean, I'm sorry, the parks on the air, we made a contact. I already have them logged on. I'm not being, I'm not able to connect to my icon like this because this is actually set up for my Sun SDR2, but it will still log the QSOs. This is how I tune. Ham Radio Deluxe, I want to tune, just click on Tune. It's That's it. If I want to go to change the frequency, we'll go to 40 meters, click on 40 meters. Click Tune. Oop, that's Tone. This is Tune. And that's it. And look at the waterfall. The band is dead for 40. So let's go back to 12 meters. All right. I'm going to retune. There's activity on the waterfall, and I'm going to call CQ. Before I do that, take a look at your receiving signals. You want that between like 35 to 40 ish dB. So take the RF gain slider and let's slide it down. Okay, I moved the RF gain uh, 42. That's about Good enough. All right, we're all tuned up. They're tuned and everything. And we're going to call CQ. So enable transmit. 
I'm now calling CQ. And uh, we sit here and wait. Let's see if there's any uh, one that can copy me. I'm running 100 watts. You saw that the power output there. Let me move this to the left a little bit. And take a look at the power right here under Hammer U Deluxe. Okay, ALC is somewhat in the middle. I'm pushing 100 watts of so power. This guy, N4YDU, he's calling CQDX. He has 8 dB on the positive scale. So is this guy, he's 10 dB. I hate it sometimes when I'm calling like CQ for a specific state and then someone else responds to you on a CQ. And it's not the state that you're looking for. So if you see someone calling CQDX and he's in the US and you're also in the US, don't contact that station, please. All right, we got Whiskey 9 Hotel Juliet make contact with me. So what I'm gonna do, I'm, I like to go to my log for RAM, take a look and see if you worked him before. I have, I've worked him two times and it has all this information here. Okay, that's his uh, information and the uh, RST reports are are sent and uh, I sent minus 18 and he received me as minus 18. So I'm gonna click OK and that is now logged in my log for old man. Now I'll go back to my WSJT. There's a 73. And so if I want to make a contact with this guy, W03 Bravo, he's minus nine. That's a good signal. I'm going to just double click on him and on log 4 om You have his information here. His name is Robert White. He have a picture of his mug right there. And he's located in uh, North Las Vegas. Nellis Air Force Base, right there. From Florida to Las Vegas. Let's go back to WSJT, see if he copies me. Not yet. I'm sending, oh, there you go. No, that's W9HJ. So W9HJ didn't get a 73 from me. So I'm going to double click on him. Now I got two logs. I'm going to say 73s to him. Just retransmit it. All right. W9HJ, I might have a dupe. Let's take a look. Yep, I got a dupe. Let's take the uh, the first contact, and then I'm just going to delete that one. I don't like having duplications on the uh, QSO at the same time. I mean, previous QSO is fine, but not at the same point in time. Let me see if he has a 73s. Now, I got a response from WO3B. Now, I'm working two stations at the same time. I'm going to send him a minus 9. I received it as minus 9. And then the W9HJ, I got to tell him that, hey, I got you a minus 18. I'll double click on him so the next transmission will be to W9HJ and again I got another duplication I have to delete or I, I could just say cancel and not log it what we're doing now is we're waiting for a, an acknowledgement a 73s while we're waiting on that 15 seconds, let's take a look and delete. 
delete the, the earlier QSO. Trash that. There's too much going on at the same time. Let me stick with W03B and let's finish that QSO. So we're trying to have two QSOs at the same time in a span of 15 seconds for transmission, 15 seconds for reception. Someone acknowledge N4VFR so I can finish my video. Yeah, there's a lot of activity. We see Argentina in there. All right, so I think we just lost connection with WO3B. And uh, W9HJ, I think he gave up. We lost connection with him. Let's halt the transmission. Let's acknowledge somebody. Here's a KF6. Oh, shoot. Let me halt that transmission. I double clicked on it. There was a KH. Oh, look at this. Parks on the air. KM6GUO. Double click on him. He's a minus 9 dB. I'm receiving him pretty good. So, let's go get some parks on the air. FT8. Too bad. We lost uh, communications with WO3B and also W9HJ. It's just too much going on. I'm sure you guys done that many times on uh, FT8. You're trying to QSO, QSO, QSO with uh, a person and uh, he's just not getting you. He's not picking you up or he's doing multitasking and he forgot all about you. Look at that. He's copying me a minus 14. I'm running 100 watts. KM6 GUO. So I'm actually uh, hunting. Parks on the air hunting on FT8 while making my video. Roger, Roger, 73s. And click OK, and that is locked. KM6 GUO. This guy is located in California. And uh, this is actually his home right here. Just north of Santa Rosa. All right. So that's how I do FT8 on my ICOM IC7300. See how when I'm on a 17 hour overnight, um, when you're bored, uh, instead of watching uh, Netflix, binge, binge watching on your favorite TV shows on Netflix or wherever, whatever series you're watching, hey, I can play ham radio at the hotel 24 7, anywhere on the band. I can go to 80 meters, I can go to 10 meters, like during the day. During the day, frequencies are better uh, as the sun rises. And then down when the sun goes down, then you got to get lower on the frequency. So anywhere. It's, it's fun to be a ham radio operator nowadays. Because uh, if you like digital like I do, do a lot of digital contact. Alrighty. Well, that's my FT8 using WSJT. X. I'm using the logging software called Log for Old Man. This is version two. Okay. And the radio control or the rig control is my ham radio deluxe. Interface with my ICOM IC7300. So when I shut this off, my radio shuts off too. So I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to disconnect my link to my laptop. Just X out of there. So this is a, a non-commercial use only. It's free. 
version of uh, team viewer now there's another software um you, you it's not a software it's a web browser you can use the um what do you call this chrome remote access chrome okay now this is going to connect to my other computer however there's too much lag when i try to log on um to my distant laptop okay there's too much lag so here's henry of deluxe and then log for old man wshat that's at my other qth yeah there's too much lag so if i'm trying to resize the screen it just takes forever so i don't even use chrome desktop remote i'm more happy with the team viewer well i hope you uh, found ft8 uh, enjoyable um, as i do because um, that's what i i like to do um, make contacts with DX and I try to make 50 contacts uh, 50 contacts I try to make contact with all 50 states the only two states that I'm having problems with is Vermont VT is the abbreviation and Rhode Island RI so if you guys are out there and you see you see me on FT8 FT4 please um, reach out to me and try to establish two-way communications and then uh, log in into QRZ so I can get the uh, 50 States Award. My name is Captain Darren. I hope you enjoyed my video and for those that are new to my channel, please consider to subscribe to my channel. It motivates me to make more videos for you guys. Until next time, 73's and have a great day.